Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to call up Holly Amendment Number Four, which is LEW two three three two nine. You know, I welcome the discussion about ethics reform. What I notice is that this body has a habit of prescribing rules and standards for other people and then not looking to its own problems, whether it's Obamacare or initially it was you all follow these rules, something different for us, or whether it's what's happening right now, where, for instance, in the last Congress, one in seven members of the House and the Senate, one in seven, that's a big number, violated current laws on the books, the Stock Act, by failing to report their stock trades properly. 97 members of Congress, House and Senate, or their spouses or dependents, traded on companies that were directly affected by the committees they sit on. More than one in five of senior federal officials in the executive branch currently hold stock in companies that they were supposed to be regulating. And there has been a series of reports in the press recently about the Department of Energy in particular, where a huge number, I think it's two thirds or more, members can look to make sure that I'm getting the statistics right, a huge number of senior officials in the Department of Energy currently own stock and trade actively in stock on companies that DOE has direct oversight of. That includes the Secretary of Energy, who represented to Congress under oath that she had no individual stock. It turns out she did have stock. She was trading that stock. It included companies that DOE has direct oversight of. Now, Senator Welch mentioned earlier that Americans are, are surprised at some of the ethics requirements that, that are or are not in place at the US Supreme Court. This is one when I talk to people at home about members of this body owning and trading an individual stock or members of the executive branch owning and trading in stock of companies that they're supposed to be overseeing, people are shocked that it's even legal. So my proposal is a simple one. If we're going to talk about ethics reform, let's make sure we're looking at ourselves as well. So I'm proposing here to amend this provision, this bill before us to include a ban on stock ownership and trading for members of Congress and senior executive branch officials. It's a bipartisan bill. Senator Gillibrand and I have introduced it as a standalone bill. I've converted it here to an amendment, and it would impose across the board ethics reform and make uh, this, this uniform in the sense that we would be addressing ethical lapses that are real and pressing in our own body, in our own house, as well as the executive branch. And I ask for a roll call vote.